Good morning, traders. Welcome to Elite Currency. My name is Chris Forsick. We take a look at the euro dollar and pound dollar as usual in this video, starting with the euro dollar uh, getting a bullish bounce finally at 117, uh, a little bit lower than I expected. And we had a follow through trying to get up to the 144 EMA, but failing. So it's uh, a little bit slower moving to the upside than I expected and made a retracement already but didn't break below the bottom and we do have a higher low at least on the hourly chart and on the four hour chart too there's a fractal clearing uh, so that could be that higher low and bounce it could indicate the the end of the abc pattern and uh, we have strong momentum here so what we now need is really a break above the 21 ema zone i think that's quite critical because as long as it stays below it or in it uh that uh, is still very uncertain this bullish reversal we do have a higher low, but that is, that's just one aspect, and that's probably not enough really to be that excited about a, a reversal. We do have a head and shoulders pattern on the daily chart, and a bounce at the deep Fibonacci Fibs levels. And here we have kind of a, the left shoulder head and right shoulder for an inverted head and shoulders pattern, plus a lot of support from the previous two bottoms. So there are good arguments to be, uh, to be seen here for a potential bullish reversal. So a trade like that, in my mind, uh, could make sense. But traders that want to be a little bit more uh, risk adverse, I think, could be better off probably with waiting for the break above the 21 EMA zone. And uh, that break could indicate a, a start of a push up. First to do long to moving averages. And if there's strong momentum, it should push above that. There should be some kind of correction after the after the break. And then if it's if it's a strong uptrend, a continuation higher. That would indicate a strong uptrend if we get this particular pattern uh, for uh, the bullish upside. Now, if there is a bearish break below support, uh, then in that case, uh, you know, there's support trend lines. I mean, we would basically need to break below the double bottom here with a good daily candle pushing through it. And then flags on lower time frames, of course, to indicate a pause correction and a breakout lower uh, down to 116 and 150 okay so uh from that point of view that would be a bearish daily candle on the higher time frames this upside could still be very uh, capped but be below uh the long term moving averages and double top and that could certainly be a bouncing spot once price gets up into 118.50 119 and there could be a maybe a triangle pattern a b c d e or if it does break, then of course we finally get into a bigger space. So the bullish reversal looks like the, the most likely scenario, unless there's a strong daily candle pushing through it, followed by flag on the outer chart and continuation. Otherwise, bullish reversals does have an edge, at least up to uh, the 118.50, 119 zone. And then we'll have to see how price responds to that level. Is there a flag? Is there a break? Is there a strong bounce? Uh, and uh, then we'll see what the long-term perspective is of that, okay? Uh, for, for the reversal, though, uh, it's still a bit risky spot. And once again, the four-hour break could look a bit better uh, for that. In the one-hour chart, by the way, let me get rid of the fib. We have a pretty, uh, pretty interesting channel here taking place like that. A little bit of an overthrow. As you can see, uh, just recently, price is back into that channel, though. And if we put the channel like this. All right, we can see that the price is at an interesting spot. If it breaks above that channel resistance, uh, there is a, a decent chance of price getting back into 117.75 in the previous resistance levels there with the long-term moving averages. And uh, we'll have to see probably a break, pullback, and uh, continuation above that channel for further upside okay so depends on uh how aggressive a trader wants to be uh you know trading the break up into 117.75 could be one trade and the second trade could be above uh, 118 117 um 68 here to 118.50 for instance and, and the trade could be split in, in, in several parts like that all right Pound USD is not looking like, well, there was a bounce, but it's not looking like a reversal. The bounce was uh, too minor uh, in a way because it's already breaking below the bottom. So there's no higher low here. And um, yeah, there was not a full break above the 20 anyway. There was an attempt, but never 
never managed, it failed. Four hour chart didn't even get into the 20 May. So at this moment, I would say a double bottom or at least a test of the bottom, I should say, uh, seems more likely. There's not a lot of space there. 136, but uh, that is uh, what I expect. Still a small push lower for the moment. Maybe it's, it's kind of a falling wedge could be built here uh, as it uh, as it kind of runs out of space, but still the downtrend emerges and that kind of reversal chart pattern could indicate uh, be an extra factor that the double bottom might hold and there could be a, a a bounce basically okay but let's see if we get that pattern i'm just speculating that this type of pattern could make sense in this environment in this spot that said uh if uh, if we get a strong push flag or we get a strong break and flag on the hourly chart then a continuation lower is possible but for the moment the double bottom i think is quite strong and it could easily turn into a triple bottom i still think that despite the lack of a bounce the lack of a reversal I wouldn't jump into reversal trades to the upside here, but I still think that uh, at double bottom, there's a fair chance that price will make some type of uh, reaction uh, to the upside and uh, and swing up again to test the uh, resistance trend line. Okay, might not be a triangle pattern like I suspected because a triangle pattern would typically bounce at the 88.6 fib, and on lower time frames, it looks like it's trying to push below it. Um, but uh, if it's not a triangle pattern, then uh, it, it could be maybe a ascending uh, or descending wedge chart pattern with a triple bottom. So I still think a bounce up is likely. In that case, we'll have a A, B, C, D, E, but not in a symmetrical triangle kind of fashion, but actually in a descending wedge with a flat bottom and a steeper angled resistance trend line. Um, so I would favor that type of pattern rather than a break and continuation. So, but that's still my two cents. Let's see. Of course, it depends on the daily candle too. If we get a strong daily candle pushing through it, well, that would certainly change my perspective, of course. But until then, I suspect that price is still going to bounce either here at the 88 because it's still at the 88, or actually at the triple or at the double bottom, making it a triple bottom and making it a descending wedge potentially. All right, that's it. Um, Let's take a quick look at at this five minute chart. Just curious how to you know how that looks like. The downside does look a little bit choppy and corrective. Um, I would be interested to see if price is able to push above the long term moving averages here, uh, indicating maybe the bounce at the eighty eight point six five. But anyhow. That's about it. Thank you for joining. Check out EliteCurrency.com. Thank you for uh, your time and hope this helps. And we'll be back next week. Uh, if you have time to add a review on Forex Peace Army or Trustpilot about my analysis, we'd certainly appreciate that. And wish everyone great trading. Cheers. Bye-bye.